Marvel Studios steps into a new realm after the resolution of the Infinity Saga. With these 23 interconnected films, Marvel Studios has achieved something truly unprecedented. And leading the charge is the man with the hat. <laughs> the baseball hat, of course. Kevin Feige is the president of Marvel Studios and the producer of every single one of these 23 films. He's just so very talented. Kevin, come on out. Good morning. Good morning, D23. Good morning. So I've been trying to think, we need to give you some new news. Something, something new, something definitive, but I'll be honest with you, I can't think of what to do right now. So I thought I'd bring a friend of mine out who could, together we'll decide what to do. Ladies and gentlemen, the co-writer, the director of the only Marvel Studios film ever to be nominated for Best Picture, Ryan Coogler. Now, let's talk about a film that's coming out in November of next year about a group of immortals created by Disney legend Jack Kirby in a film we call The Eternals. You want to meet The Eternals? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, as Icarus, Richard Madden. Playing the eternal Kingo, Kumail Nanjani. As the fastest eternal there is, Makari, Lauren Ridloff. We've got as fastos, the amazing Brian Tyree Henry. Let me introduce you to the leader of the Eternals, Ajax, played by Salma Hayek. And playing an eternal that is eternally stuck in a 12-year-old body, even though she's 7,000 years old, Leah McHugh as Sprite. As the powerful Gilgamesh, Don Lee. And as the warrior Athena, Angelina Jolie. Now, I want to introduce you, there's a new Eternal, a new Eternal named Druig, played by the great Barry Keoghan. And believe it or not, that's not all. As our final Eternal, Cersei, we have Gemma Chan, who is... And I can also confirm, playing a non-Eternal character in this film named Dane Whitman, is Mr. Kit Harrington. This one is big. Our director, Chloe Zhao, is in London getting ready to work, but I really wanted you to meet, ladies and gentlemen, our Eternals. <laughs> 